everybody, Tiger Fangs here, and welcome to the stream. I do apologize for the late start, uh, but I was pretty much basically helping to get ready for the uh, Nio survival thing that I was uh, that we were planning to do. But right now, Blaze is not available, so right now, so we'll see if he shows up within the set time, pretty much for the wait. And if he doesn't, well, uh, I'm afraid we pretty much won't be doing a Nio stream today. Might get changed to tomorrow, but who knows? But we'll see. Uh, is there one thing I can do? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Probably not. Either or. Yeah, so D's gonna be pretty much in the chat, or in our chat chat, like our party chat, or whatever. Discord chat. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, he'll be in the background here while he's setting that stuff up, and then he probably might hop out. Who knows? But uh, yeah, just to let y'all know. So. Okay, dude. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Okay. So okay, let me know. Okay, you have everything set up. You made sure that you're you put everything that's precious, or you yep. locked everything that's precious that, that that's on yep. your current build. Uh, you got everything in the storehouse that pretty much uh, you're not going to be using. To make sure, yep. sure with your stuff. Did you make sure to take off all the soul cores and such off your uh, spirit guardians again? Yep. Okay. So just make sure. One last thing. Be sure to make a cloud save. So just in case if you screw anything up. Because you'll be reverting that back anyway, because otherwise you're going to be buying more books of reincarnation. Sure. Yeah, it's just basically to save you the grief of having to have to farm, farm money or anything. So, And plus, you're going to have to throw away your consumables when we're doing the challenge, if we do the Nio challenge today. So. Get the back up. We're waiting for Blaze. I'll just do a, some Elden Ring. Good. I like Elden Ring, but I'm, I'm glad to be done at this point. I think I was good for a break. <laughs> well, yeah, we've been on that game for months. I mean, it's it's a necessary uh, break. It was pretty pretty fantastic game, though. But yeah, it was a fantastic game. I'd have to say my only complaint with it, realistically, is that the content you can tell it's a lot of it was being reused after a certain point, which uh -huh. is. Not common in a FromSoft game, but I mean, in this game, it definitely was. There was a lot more reusable. Use yourself and have the ability to set and, up shit. Yeah, well, I mean, it, as I said, it's it's not a common practice they do in a FromSoft game, but uh, definitely, it definitely, you could see the budget running out pretty much after a certain point. So I didn't realize it had been two years since we played this game. What, Nio? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Nah, it was an old game. Not not super old, of course, but I mean, it, it's getting there. I mean, it was 10, 10 of 2020 is the last time I played them. Literally two, about two years ago. Oh, yeah. Nah, I ran out of content. Well, I mean, we, we had content to do, but it was sort of just repetitive stuff, really. Yep. So it was a hell of a lot of fun, too. Yeah, it, it's a fun game. I remember it pissed you off a lot. I started playing Dragon Quest. Uh, Eleven yesterday. Really? What is that like? It hit the, it hit the free to, the free to play on extra. So I figured I'd give it a shot. <laughs> I see you're not regretting spending all that money on extra at least. No, it's it's had a hell of a lot of good games on it. It also uh, the Vice City, the Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the new one that just came out, it's on there also. I'm gonna play that. I don't think that's nudie. I think that's an old Grand Theft Auto, I think. Oh, could five, be. Five, yeah, 5 is like the most recent Grand Theft Auto, and you know how long well, they've been milking that. They did a remake. It's a remake. Oh, oh, the. Oh, the yikes. Yeah, I think it came out like six months ago or something. I mean, if as long as that one's free, that one, that game is honestly a ripoff from all the bugginess that, that comes with that. That's what I. That's what I remember reading, but yeah, since it's free, I'm, I'm not worried about giving it a shot. Yeah, as long as that's free, then that's fine, but if you paid for that, that was a ripoff for you, man. Sort no, of. no, it's, it's on the extra. Yeah, there's about 500 games on the extra, it's pretty exciting. I love how I'm collecting memory stones, even though I'm probably not going to be using magic a whole lot. <laughs> and then again, I'm trying to collect good overall, we didn't, we didn't miss too much stuff. 
Yeah, the only th major things that we missed in this game, apparently, was... Well, not really major, but, I mean, it, it, they're missable. was basically a scorpion magic talisman, and then a pettier version of... I think there was actually a couple more things. I don't remember everything, but... It was a petty version of the arsenal, like, charm, basically, that increases your equip load. Oh, and I think, basically, a petty version of... Okay, so three items, yeah. A petty version of what... The, the, it's like some jar freaking shard that uh, that drops off of a Alexander the jar. It's basically a pettier version of that that increases like weapon skill or like skill damage or something. But it doesn't stack with the better one that Alexander gets, so it's not a big deal that we miss that at all. Just collection purposes that it, uh, it sucks. But you know. yep. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't exactly remember what was the last thing. I don't think we really. M oh, what, right. Right, it was the uh, talisman that enhances incantations, like greatly boosts their potential, but at the same time, it's not a permanent missable compared to those other talismans. You can oh shit, oh, oh, this... shit, ah, that was loud. But yeah, pretty much, basically, pretty much the yeah that talisman. Basically, we could still get it. It's just pretty much you'd have to kill. Uh... I don't remember his name. It's. What is his name? It's like that red sage that basically obsessed over uh, the girl that died from the car rot. Oh shit. Oh yeah. I remember why I don't use horse in combat now. That's cooler as if you go back and get out of the situation. What, do you mean the using the horse? Uh-huh. Uh, I mean <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the horse is a new FromSoft edition, realistically, so yep. it, it's not a surprise, but I mean, at the same time, it, it, it's just like, it's something they really wanted to put in these games for so long now, realistically. And we played so long without it. Can you imagine running through this game with, like, the heaviest equip load that basically makes you not be able to run or jump? Because guess what? Somebody did do that, actually. Mesochus! It gets them the views, I guess. <laughs> Imagine if you had to do that sort of shit for your Platinums, D. Good boy. Pretty much, you're learning to enjoy the games instead of suffer. Definitely trying. Well, Tiger, I think I'm gonna go lay back down. So, give me a yeah. check if Lager shows up. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Hopefully, he loses his power. Most likely, or he probably freaking is so tired that he can't play. <laughs> I could do that too. Yeah, the work is definitely kicking his ass a little bit. Yeah. I can't imagine driving five hours a day to go to work. That would be beyond ridiculous. Well, I mean, I think he takes a train in between, but still. Be rough. Alright, Tiger. I'll talk to you soon, man. See you, dude. The character's set up, so we're running the wrong hole. Yeah, Blaze still needs to do that, though. I need to clean it out, yep. so I'll put him yeah, through it when he shows up. If he shows yep. up. Alright, man. Talk to you in a bit. Alright. See you, dude. And back to the solo commentary. <laughs> oh, gosh. Proceeds to not speak for about an hour. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I just hope that my commentary is not too boring, realistically. I mean, I mostly talk about the games, honestly, whenever I, like, uh, commentate. Since I'm not really too much of a person that talks a whole lot about outside sources, realistically. Like, you know, like, say, the most popular person does this, or whatever. I'm more of a somebody that just focuses on the games and such. Speaking of which, where the hell have I been in this game, realistically? Because I don't even remember. <laughs> I genuinely don't remember what I've done on this character, and it doesn't help that I've been playing another character in my off time when pretty much I'm editing. 
Which, that's sort of what I do when I freaking edit. I, I mean, it's not so a good mentality to have when pretty much editing and such, but it's just like, I sort of do that so that way pretty much I can go through hours of footage because, my goodness, it's so arduous to do that. I would try to make the freaking edits more exciting, but I just don't, I don't trust copyright realistically. <laughs> That's sort of why I don't really do something like pretty much just make the sound files in my freaking videos as much anymore. You just can't trust copyright nowadays. Something that can be free sound can pretty much be copyright in the future. You never know. So I, I sort of just want to avoid copyright as much as possible, which is hypocritical since I'm playing these games and such. Which is a copyright in its own. But I guess my stuff isn't monetized either, so realistically, maybe I should consider probably putting sounds in pretty much the videos. Of course, at the same time, it's a risk of pretty much putting fires on the computer because the sound files are difficult to download and such. I think if I have to pull something from YouTube, you know what? I'd probably shouldn't even say anything on that. Because you can download stuff, and then there's like an, I believe there is in like a, uh, well there is a freaking like X, like sort of like a, there's like a free source thing where it allows you to pretty much like pull like sounds from videos and such. Of course it has to be shorter than an hour to be able to do that sort of thing, but. Oh god, I'm gonna get sleep. But sometimes that's what I sort of do for when it comes down to it, like when I, when I need a sound or something. Of course, there is stuff to be able to download too out there, which is a risk because it's malware and such. That's sort of what I did when I used to pretty much put sounds on my videos or my streams or my archives, as the more accurate term. When I did edit, whatever, when I was doing editing and such, so. But yeah, I primarily just cut stuff out of my, my freaking stream recordings nowadays rather than put sounds just to. Avoid that sort of copyright. You just can't trust the freaking copyright system nowadays. It's sort of why I sort of fear in the future if I were to want to stream something I'd really like to play. Like, I wouldn't mind playing Dead Rising on the stream. The problem is, though, that sort of game pretty much has all sorts of copyright like, songs in them. Like, 2 has, like, like what were they called? The uh, Cell Dweller, I believe. And that's that's copyrighted on YouTube, so sort of. I don't know if I want to pretty much take a chance with that. I'd, I would have to turn off the music if I were to pl probably play Dead Rising on stream or something. Just sadly, pretty much the Dead Rising games pretty much have a, a bunch of copyright songs. So, oh, hey King, welcome to the stream, man. Sorry, I was busy rambling on about my own bullshittery. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty much. Uh, just doing some Elden Ring, some solo Elden Ring, while hopefully waiting on Blaze pretty much to show up. And then we might be doing some Nio, like a Nio challenge that I came up with that involves like uh, the underworld. I, I mean, I don't know if you know anything about Nio, but uh, basically uh, the challenge is basically going through like one of the, like a series of areas pretty much with n bare minimum of nothing and then pretty much like finding stuff to enhance our characters as we go. Basically sort of like a survival scenario trying to find stuff and make yourself stronger. But yeah. That's the plan at least. If not, pretty much I'll probably be doing some solo Elden Ring until pretty much uh, I either get bored or you know. Or just uh, run out of time. Right. I don't even remember where what I need to find around here. I'm just trying to explore this place, try to get find everything again. I just don't remember though. Lunaria is pretty much probably my least favorite place to explore, just because of how big. So many cliffs and high up places to go to that you have to circle around to, and just a lot of stuff can be not very rem rememberable. So. Yeah, that's good. Assuming that's a movie. <laughs> excuse me, it's pretty much I have my, excuse me, my obliviousness, but uh, I don't really know too much about like uh, movies and such nowadays. I sort of stopped watching movies nowadays. Pretty much, they just don't really draw my interest as much as a long time ago. Because of my boomer mentality. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah.
I'm glad you enjoyed that movie or whatever that is. Probably a show? A special? I wouldn't mind, like, as I was, like, saying before, uh, probably before you came in, I, if I were to do something, like, Halloween-oriented, I wouldn't mind playing Dead Rising on stream, honestly. That was, a, that was a fun game. It was a wacky zombie game. Loved that game. You don't really touch it as much anymore, but I wouldn't mind going back to that. It was a fun one. Personally preferred two. Ah, movie. Gotcha. I mean, it sounded like it was going to be a movie more than a special or anything, so... That's good. Did I ever find the Death Burb around here? Let's see if Death Burb is uh, alive around here. I know I killed, I killed a Death Burb in, like, uh, an area somewhere around here, but I don't think it was this one. This one was it. I think, at least. Oh, there's the boy! Yeah, I lost all that out of that too. I just <laughs> lost all that out of that too. It's alright. I'll get the. I'll call the in. Alright, text him. Okay, D is coming. Alright, uh, Gotham City. Um, that would be something. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying like the Gotham games realistically, but in terms at the same time, I don't know if I could stream those games realistically because Warner Brothers has a their butt hurt when it comes down to copyright. So, probably, would probably I've seen the Gotham games, but like they're like those like chain combat sort of games or something of the sort. If you, I, I don't know how to explain it, like yeah, but yeah, I, I know I know what you're talking about. I, I mean, I don't really know. What? What game? The First Descendant. The First Descendant? What is that? Uh, it's essentially like a Warframe. Warframe type game. Oh, yeah. Is, is it that the new game that was made by... Uh... Shit. By... Why, why am I so bad at remembering things? Made by... Oh, hey, D. Basically made by the developers. D, right? D, did you hear us? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure I didn't hear any response. Uh, give me a second, King. I gotta pretty much, like close out the stream and then reopen it back up because for some reason like the title reverts back so give me a second uh, the stream will be back on soon enough so it's made by Nick